a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Holy bucket. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. It's not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are together again on the radio. Uh, I'm going to do something unusual. Uh, frequently, we, we read uh, letters to advice columns on the air. And I am looking at a letter fr uh, from some woman to an advice column, but I'm not going to read the whole letter. I just want to get to the salient point in the letter, and then I'm going to make a detour and tell you about something that happened to me. Because we really don't care about the response from the contributor to the Today Show, do we? Dr. Gail Saltz. Do we really care? Not really. This is from the MSNBC website. For some inexplicable reason, when you want content from NBC News, you go to msnbc.com. Why not nbcnews.com? Who knows? Well, I guess they have todayshow.com, too. Jesus. Here is the uh, beginning of the question. I am a single independent woman who just got out of a five-year relationship with a substance abuser. Good work. Another moron. Another loser. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Says here, and I love this phrase, I have been dating a lot. Really? Eating a lot of restaurants, have you? Seeing a lot of cinema? You know, she means I've been effing a lot. I tell these men up front that I am not looking for a serious relationship right now. But I have needs like everyone else. If a nice and attractive guy is willing to go all the way on the first date. All the way. Do people still say that? We went all the way last night. That's right. We went all the way. That is so 60s, 50s. We went all the way. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> we went all the way. <laughs> Yes. So uh, she says, if a nice and attractive guy is willing to go all the way on the first date, and I have no expectations of pursuing a long-term relationship with him, is it so wrong to indulge in casual sex? Let me read that last line again, because here's where the detour is coming. If a nice and attractive guy is willing to go all the way on the first date, and here come the italics for you people who aren't paying attention. And I have no expectations of pursuing a long-term relationship with him, comma, is it so wrong to indulge in casual sex? Forget the rest of the letter. Forget the response. That troubles me. Because it reminds me of something that happened to me.
What does the fact that you have no expectations of pursuing a long-term relationship with somebody have to do with whether you're going to have casual sex with them? And this brings me to my story. There was a chick who was kind of flirting around with me. And um, she was very big. You know, we met, and then she was very big on the emails and the text messages and the voicemails. But amazingly, she could never see me in person. She had 80 million excuses why we couldn't see each other in person. Three dates. <laughs> How about one date? I would suggest we get together every possible way. And she would always have an excuse. She doesn't feel well. She's had to work a lot lately. She's tired. She has family obligations. Blah, blah, blah. Now get this, and this will blow you away. Uh, one, uh, you know, after a while, I'm like, I'm hardly responding to anything anymore. You know, I've moved on to greener pastures. I've got plenty of other activity, plenty of fish in the sea. I don't have to waste my time on any one of these people. And she was just never available to see me. Fine. Say it. But get this. Now, you know I do like us 101, and I answer advice questions from people. Among the text messages, hey, giggles, how are you? You know, remember G-I-G-G-L-E-Z in brackets, giggles, hugs. It's one of those. How's it going? Giggles. Just spread your legs. Let's be done with this, Okay. Why don't you ask women for their opinions about the presidential race? They have opinions. To giggles. Hugs. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, she's been sending me, you know, the usual mindless stuff. I'm, you know, she would. Uh, and this is somebody, by the way, that I. She would crop up. I mean, I knew her as far back as before my last big relationship. My God, I <laughs> I think I met her like in, uh, was it 01? 01, I think I met her. And ultimately, um, you know, she would come and go, and every once in a while the text messages or the instant messages would come. Sometimes it would be like, ooh, I was thinking about you the other morning. <laughs> and I'd be like, Okay, how about we get together? Well, you know, I'm going to be working late this week. <laughs> One day, finally, in the middle of all these text messages, she sends me a message because she knows I ask, answer advice questions on the air. She's saying, yeah, what does it mean if a guy won't pay any attention to you? And I say, uh, what do you mean by that in the text message? And she says, there's this guy in my office, and I'm trying to get his attention, but for whatever reason, he won't talk to me. And I'm like, my response is, what's the difference? You don't have any time to go out with anybody anyway. What do you care? So she didn't mention it again. A few weeks later, I get another message from her, and it goes like this. What does it mean when you've been having sex with a guy and then he stops calling you? She asks me this question. <laughs> what does it mean when you've been having sex with a guy and he doesn't call you? And now I'm pissed. And I write back and say, why, do you know somebody that's happening to? Yes, you dummy, me. It's been happening to me and I don't know what it means. I said, let me ask you a question. Where do you have time to have sex with this guy? What do you mean? Well, you're always flirting with me and sending sexually suggestive messages to me and stuff like that. And then when I, you know, try to close the deal and I say, all right, why don't we uh, get together? You always say you're too busy. You don't feel well. You're too tired. Yeah, you need to get sleep. Yeah, you, I said, 
why would you have this problem with somebody else if you don't have time to get together? So now I had her up against the wall, you know, like, <laughs> now I'm going to get the real answer. And I got it. Here's what she tells me. She's, well, this guy doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, the guy doesn't mean anything to you? Okay, and? Well, come on. I mean, I I, I sleep with him because, my God, I, 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 nothing's ever going to happen between us. I said, so what are you telling me? She's like, oh, <laughs> I mean, you're different. You're special. I mean, I, I could see myself being with you for a long time, and I don't want you to think I'm just some slut who just jumps into bed. You know, said, wait a minute. You are a slut. You jump into bed with people that you don't think you can hook into what you consider to be a substantial relationship. You just proved to me you're a slut. You just don't want to be a slut with me. So you see, I see this line in this advice column where the woman wants to know if it's okay to have sex on the first date since she has no expectations of pursuing a long-term relationship with this guy. What should that have to do with anything? Let me understand. Guys you really think you could fall in love with. Guys you think you could spend the rest of your life with. Guys you think will pay your bills for the rest of your life or whatever. Those guys you withhold sex. Guys you don't care about, don't think you would ever have any relationship with. You give them all the sex they want. Don't you think that's screwy? Think about that for a second. The guys you think you could spend your life with, or the guys you think you could have a long-term relationship with, them you make wait. Giggles, you make wait. But then the guys, that, that that's not, not like you're not having sex with anybody. You're having sex with people. You're lying to the people you supposedly think you could fall in love with, right? Like, Ooh, you're different. You're special. I'm special. So me, you lie to me. Me, you tell me you're sick. You don't feel well. You got to get some sleep. You don't have time. You're working late. The, the guy you don't give a rat's ass about, you tell him the complete truth. Yep. Come on over. My legs are spread. Here we go. Me, you not only make me wait, you lie to me about why you won't give me any sex, and the guy you don't care about, he gets all the sex he wants. Can anybody explain this to me? Tom, 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 like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. I just have a problem with you calling women dumb bitches. I don't see where you get off. Well, I only do it when they are dumb bitches. Yeah, but it's just such a derogatory term. You cannot find any other words in your vocabulary just to express how you feel. Oh, yeah. Dumb whores, uh, stupid broads. There's plenty of words about vocabulary. You're not even uh, I'm a, Why are you on I'm, the radio? This is I'm over the hill slots. I mean, I'm, I'm like a thesaurus. I got plenty of words. It's the Dumb Like It Show. Job like a show. 1-800-5-800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Rosa on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Uh whatever. <laughs> well, my answer to your question is what I think is that girls don't give it up to guys, especially the ones that they want to have a relationship with is they believe that those guys are going to treat them like crap if they give it up to them easily like that. And well, then why give it up to the other guys? Because, I guess, give it up to the other guys because they, they supposedly they don't mean anything to them. So. Well, do you know what happened to this girl? Once she told me she was giving it to someone else, I said, uh -huh. don't, don't call me anymore. It's, exactly. So the plan exactly. backfired. Exactly, but that's what these broads don't think. They don't think that that's what's going to happen. 
I said, if, if there's somebody that <laughs> that you're going to give sex to, but you lie to me and tell me you're busy, you're sick, you're tired, uh, you're working late, whatever. <laughs> and then later I find out that you can't see me because you're busy getting boned by some other guy that you don't care about as much as me. Guess what? You can have him. Exactly. Exactly. But they don't think like that, you know? I don't know what's going through the head, but, I mean, that's just the way the girls think, you know? So, I don't know. Fascinating. <laughs> well, what can I say? Girls are girls. Thank you, Rosa. You're welcome. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Love the show. Keep me entertained. Thank Thanks. you, David. Uh, I hope I don't repeat what anyone else has said because I just tuned in, but um, basically women won't screw you because they don't want their feelings getting mixed up in it. And once their feelings get mixed up in it, they're out of control. The other side is the woman might also not, you know, respond because uh, they're just not into you. And I think... No, no, know, but here's the thing. I, I, I wasn't that into her. Well, uh, Honestly, my whole attitude was if there isn't a lot of work involved, if I don't have to jump through hoops, if I don't have to take you to dinner, if I don't have to go through this whole big shebang, uh, okay, fine. But she made it as difficult as possible, but yet continued to contact me. Well, that's because her she knew she had feelings for you and she didn't want to mess it up. Because if she actually But if she's not that into me, why would she have feelings for me? Because people are paradoxes, Tom, that's why. <laughs> they say one thing, they do another. It happens all the time. Well, so the result is, though, that she lost me forever. Well, now I don't even want to have sex. Now I don't. Now I don't even want to have sex with her anymore. Well, of course not. I mean, I, I suspect that now she'd give it up to me just because I'm saying I don't want to see her, and the answer is I don't want it now. You don't want to know, but once you realize that, you didn't want it anymore. But at the same time, there was some sort of emotional game going on because you wanted to do her. She sensed that. She was holding out because it kept you chasing her a little bit. The moment you gave up the chase, she probably became very interested. But I wasn't chasing her. I, you know I, that once, once she realized you were not chasing like her. Like, I'd be sitting here on the air with the computer uh, booted up. Right. And suddenly instant messages would appear on the screen. Yeah, exactly. While I'm working. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people, like, they're also stealing your energy, and that's a great way to do that. I mean, not to get all metaphysical here on your show, but, you know, a lot of people play that game. And she, you know, as long as you're calling and she's saying, I'm not, you know, I'm busy or I'm not feeling well, she at least perked your interest, and she knows that you were thinking about her at that time on that day. And in some way, you know, this sick bitch was getting a twist out of it. <laughs> well, it's uh, certainly true about that, but she's not getting anything anymore. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Susanna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I uh, I think she just wasn't into you. I, I, uh, I love I would, you. But... I, wait, 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 dear. Hang on a second. I would buy that and could accept it because I don't think everybody is, anybody is for everybody. Right. I don't believe everybody has chemistry, and I don't believe that anybody is uh, is is right for everyone. I don't care who, I don't care if it's George Clooney or name a name. I don't think anybody is that person, okay? Right. Now, having said that, this is, uh, this is not somebody I was pursuing. This is somebody who was pursuing me. Do you think that maybe, and uh, just because I think women, they lie, it, they, they play so many games. But why I why pursue, me? why, why send me messages? Why call me? Why send I me emails? She was trying to work you to see if she can get money. I, I'm serious. I think she was trying to keep you on hold. She thought she had the magic vagina, and she thought, well, I'll keep Tom Likas on hold. He'll be available when I want him, and I'll keep putting him off. And then, she, you know, when she needed you, she would get you, and she could work you for money. I, I, that's what I think. <laughs> that she, and I'm glad you let her go. And I think that was probably her goal. Well, I don't know. You know? I don't so, know. But I'm glad you let her go. They play, women play so many games. They think they're, you know, the hot ones, you know. I'm a seven or so, so I don't, I can't play games. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, they think they can do anything. So, yeah, well, that's what I think. Well, interesting uh, perspective on that. I thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Claudia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Um, hi, Tom. I think, um, player, you just got played. That's what I think, and I think... It's, well, I'd it's, believe that if I had spent money or invited her to my house or took her on a trip somewhere, but, uh, but, but how was I played? Kept, not, but she kept you hanging. 
You waited for those emails. But I, but I did. No, no, no. Out. You are wrong. See, I'm trying to tell you. There may be women for whom I waited for emails. They may be women who I, I couldn't wait to get another photograph of. There may be women. This was not one of them. This was somebody who was like, if it's conveniently located, if there's not a lot of work involved, if I don't have to travel too far, if I don't have to go out to dinner or spend any money or do anything or jump through any hoops or go to a Vicente Fernandez concert or whatever, I'm in. Okay. But other than that, I don't care. And I did not make any, ex- ex- again, maybe with some women I might have. This woman, I made no efforts. I didn't uh, send her anything. I didn't buy her anything. But she didn't. But she didn't she contacted me, and she continued contacting me. Because she was playing you. She wanted you just in case. You were just an entree on the side. Just in case she felt like ever having you, she would have you if she wanted to. I know because this is what I do. You do that? Yeah. Why do you do that? Why not? Because because you know what? In life, you know, I got to tell you, in my life, I got no time for that. I've got business to attend to. I've got a very interesting career that keeps me reading and working all the time and traveling. I like to read books. I've got a lot of uh, things to do with my time. I don't have time for this well, stuff. I do too. The people, I do too. no, I you don't. A, no, I you don't. Life. No, you don't. If you have time yes, to be, if you have I time do. to be sending text messages <laughs> to people you don't care about, and you don't, you obviously have too much time on your hands. No, no. Yes, will, yes. If, you know, if I ever feel like having you, then I will. If I don't, then no, I no, don't. no. Don't be so sure of that because uh, believe me, if you think I, I'm just, if you think I'm a slut and I'll just have sex with anything, no matter what, you're wrong. Oh, you said you did. No, you said I that have. You would, it, yeah, you said anybody that will open their legs, you would. You no, would that is not it. what I said. I did not say that. I no. said that when mm. I, I know what I said, if you want, and I didn't say it today, by the way, what I have said on the air is when I split up from a long term relationship, like a marriage, that was when I did that. But now in my life, absolutely not. I'm, okay. I, I'm very, very picky. Okay, well, I just thought I'd tell you that, you know, that she was just hanging, letting you. Well, you don't have to repeat it again. We already heard it. She's going to say the exact same thing again. 1-800, I'm trying to train you people. It's it's like uh, housebreaking. It's like you're a bunch of puppies. You've got 30 seconds of juice. Don't keep repeating it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Janice on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. You know, this is a kind of a hypocritical stand for you to take, but it isn't the first thing you're hypocritical about, but... You know, you say to men they should go out and get as much as they as a toilet seat, so to speak. But yes. yet, if your woman does that, the same thing, you dump her. I no, darling, I no, no, that. no, no. You're wrong, and I'm going to tell you why. If she wanted to have sex with that other guy and me, I'm down with that. Well, you mean so you don't think men should have sex with two women at the same time? Is that, that what no, I mean? you're not hearing what I'm saying. She was not having sex with two men at the same time. She was having sex with the other guy, but not me. Well, then, you know, dumper is fine. Uh, that's and, what I did. You know, I, it doesn't sound like she would give a crap if you dumped her. No, 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 but you don't understand here. Uh, she I, was, no, I get it. She, I was, get it. she was telling me point blank that she thought we had potential for a relationship, kind of like this advice letter I read to you at the beginning of this hour. And so uh, she didn't want to appear to be too easy with me because she thought I had potential. But the other guy has no potential. He's a complete loser. So she jumps right into the sack with him because there's nothing to lose. But you contend that you want celibacy from them in terms that is of the not other what i or said you you're not hearing me you? i don't care if they do other okay, people well then okay you i never wanted... said that where did you get that idea from so you want more from her than you were getting no no i if you're gonna waste my time just make sure well, you're what's that mean? that's what i mean that setting me text time. messages giggles hugs all this stuff. you're gonna waste my time with text messages and instant messages and emails and things like that and just make sure i'm having sex like the other guys you're having sex with and i'm fine with it 
So basically, you dumped her because you weren't getting enough sex from her. No, no, it had nothing to no, do no. With her. I dumped her because I wasn't getting any sex from her, and she made she lied to me and said that we weren't having sex because she had no time. She was sick. She had to work late. She was busy. She had family obligations. Then I find out. Oh no, that's not the reason she's not having sex with me. She's not having sex with me because she thinks we have potential as like a romantic item. So she's having sex with some other guy that she has no interest in. Rather than having it with me because she's afraid that if she's too easy with me that I will think badly of her and won't see her as like marriage material or as relationship material or whatever. But you weren't seeing her as that anyway, it sounds like. Well, she point is, she obviously saw me that way. Well, who cares? Well, if again, you, dear, I, I, is, I don't your care. Is get as much as when you can. That's so right. My point is, that's what I did. Her, why didn't you just try to get sex out of her? I you did. Sex with the other women. Well, you don't understand, dear. I was having sex with the other women the whole time. Well, good for you. I, mean, I don't. Right. I don't think you're paying attention to a word I'm saying. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I took your advice staunchly, and I've been dating lots of different girls and banging all kinds of chicks. If you only knew, more ass than a toilet seat. Love that. Oh, jeez. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, I'm in the middle of a conversation, in case you're just joining us, I'm in the middle of a conversation about a chick who was, uh, to, to make a long story short, I don't want to go through the whole story again, but uh, she was constantly uh, contacting me. Somebody who I'd met was contacting me and sending me text messages, but never had time to meet me so I could close the deal. Later on, she wrote to me to ask me a question, like I'm the professor. She's asking me a question about a guy who uh, she's been having sex with, and now he won't call her anymore. <laughs> and she's asking me for advice about this. It's like, wait a minute, I thought you didn't have time for a social life. And she let me know that she uh, she thought the world of me, and she thought we had real potential to have a real relationship. So she didn't want to appear to be easy. But this other guy, she doesn't care about at all. She's just having sex with him. I'm like, why would you be having sex with a guy you don't care about, but the guy you do care about, you would deny sex to him? So on the basis of that, I said, don't call me anymore. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I had caught just the tail end, so I, I hadn't caught the part where you said you guys hadn't actually been on these dates yet. That's why I was calling in to ask. No, oh, well, on dates. You know, I, I just wanted to get laid. I was, <laughs> or how many times you guys have gotten together? Uh, we didn't. We, we, we met, and then uh, we were constantly, she was constantly, like, sending me messages. Okay. Do you think it sounds a little, well, with her telling you that she was, very interested in you and not so interested in this other guy. Does it sound a little bit like a, a Hail Mary excuse that the guys give the girls when they want to? Well, what do you think? So you're telling me there's some other reason for that? Well, I don't know. It just, well, I mean, according to... I mean, if you're, if you're happily banging away with some guy you like more than me, why would you bother to contact me? But it kind of also goes in part with when you talk about a woman knows within the first minute or five minutes that she's going to, whether she's going to sleep with a man or not. Well, she was telling me, and again, she could have been lying. She was letting me know that at some point she would have slept with me, but first she wanted to get to know me, and you know she wanted to have like more of a relationship first, whereas the other guy, she didn't care about him at all, so she was just having sex with him. Yeah. And I refused to meet with her on, unless it was going to be like, you know, I, I, there was not going to be any lunches or cups of coffee or any of that stuff. You know, it was going to be in the evening. It was going to be with uh, alcohol. And it was going to be, you know, probably not going to a concert and then getting in a limousine. And then, oh, no, no. It's going to be sex. 
Well, it sounds like she's playing games either way, so you're better off. But my, yeah, my, my point is, though, that, again, if she was happily banging some guy who she thought was more interesting than me, why call me? Why send me messages? Because girls are, girls are weird, you know. Well, they're attention whores. Women are attention whores. And on top of that, uh, I think what what was in this um, advice column that I read the uh, line from today, that that's what reminded me of this. And the woman said, as she was asking a question of the Today Show uh, doctor, she said, I have no expectations of pursuing a long-term relationship with him, so is it so wrong to indulge in casual sex? What she's implying by that is if she did have intentions of a long-term relationship, Casual sex wouldn't be appropriate. Well, I don't know. I think. I mean, do you, you know, feel that way? I have. Yeah. I, well, I have done that. I have pulled that one before, but. Why? You know, women can be drama queens. Yeah, I understand all that, but I don't know. Here's the thing. I, maybe women don't see it from this perspective. I look at it as if, if I'm the one you think has potential, I'm the one who should be getting sex. Well, Why should somebody girl. else be getting it while I sit here on the sidelines and I'm supposed to buy you flowers and take you out to dinner and get to know you and the other guy gets sex? Well, I don't, yeah. I, I I'll don't get sex. I, I'll get sex after I jump through a hundred hoops. I haven't I haven't had somebody on the side while I was holding someone else off, but I have held off someone before because he was the one. And in a way, I was trying to reinvent the whole virgin, not virginity, but along those lines. Trying to make but was he stupid one. enough to believe that, that you weren't having sex with other people? Well, I really wasn't. Well, you say you were holding him off. Holding him off, me, meaning until we got married. We were talking, you know, in discussions of getting married, but... I mean, I, I, that would just be unacceptable to me. Any woman who's who tried that game on me, because first of all, unless you're a virgin and you can prove it, uh, there is no reason why other guys should have gotten in there, but not me. Well, he put his foot down and I gave it up. So There we go. <laughs> all right, Tom, love the show. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sherry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Listen Hi. to you every day. Love your show. Just thank you, Sherry. Say thank you. Sure. Um, wanted to tell you, we're raised as little girls that we want to get respect from men. And the only way to get that respect would be to withhold until a couple months go by, whatever that may be. Then why would you have sex with other men? Because sometimes women just need to get their needs met also. And if we find guys that are just looking for the same thing, it works out great. Yeah, but you see, all guys are looking for that. But if we see potential with a guy, we're not going to give it up because he'll never respect us. But why do you assume that? <laughs> Did you ever hear of a book called The Rules? I heard of it, and I also know that at least one of the authors, the authors of that book is now divorced. Do you know that? I read it and I laughed at most of it because I listen to your show and I firmly believe in almost everything that you say. But that's just one of the things that are drilled in our head from the time we're little girls. But but the, whoever's man, drilling he's not going to respect you. But whoever's drilling this into your head doesn't look at the I'm other not. part of it. I mean, uh, we would have to be stupid enough to believe that you're a virgin, or stupid enough to believe you're not having sex with no, other no, people. No, because see, we don't we don't say that we're virgins or anything like that. But we also want you to respect. But, but as a man, I'm telling you, if you if you make me wait, and I know other guys aren't waiting, I'll dump you. Well, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like the. the you said that relationship you had or not even a relationship with the girl you were talking with. It sounds to me like she was into you and she wasn't really interested in this other guy, so she wasn't going to let you know she was sleeping with him on the side. But then once he stopped talking to her, all of a sudden, hey, I'm interested in him now. And then she wants, oh, let's call, you know, you up to get the information on how to get him back. Yeah, well, I had no interest in helping her out at all. Right, but that's what it sounds like happened in that situation, but that's just the way that women are. It makes no sense, but if you think about the way that we're raised and we want respect and that's how you get respect from a man, that's what we do. All right, Sherry, uh, thank you for that. It makes no sense, but I'm sure that uh, it makes sense to the people who are, who are saying that to people.
One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Joe Lynn on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. We are sixty five seconds away from our caller saying something. And the reason for that is simple. We have about 70 seconds of delay. And although the screener, Mr. Dean J. D'Amelio, told this caller to turn her radio off, instead of paying attention to him and listening to the show over the telephone, she turned up the radio and she is listening and waiting for her name to be said on the radio. But of course, because we're in delay, it will take 70 seconds from the time I picked up the phone until the time she hears me on the radio saying her name. Um. <laughs> yes. Didn't um. Dean didn't Dean tell you to turn the radio off there? Yeah, well, it's not Jolene, but um trying to uh babysit the phone for her. She had had to go to the bathroom while she was waiting for uh, her turn. This so. is a radio show. We don't have time for that. Yeah. But actually here she is. She just popped back in. Oh. So. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. Appreciate your time and patience. Please stay on the line. Can I help you? Hi, this is Jill in. Yes, please hold. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. What did you want to talk about, please? Yes, I wanted to say um, the reason why the girl was looking to you for... Um, oh, to, you wanted to talk to Tom. Hang on a second, please. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. While you're waiting, uh, can we introduce you in a three-day, two-night uh, honeymoon package to Las Vegas? Yes, you just popped back in. Hello? Uh, All right, hold on, please. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line, and we'll be right back with you. Appreciate your time and patience. Please stay on the line. Hello, can I interest you in, uh, while you're on hold here, can I interest you in uh, membership in the CBS Radio Listeners Club? Can I'm you, sorry? We'd like to interest you in the CBS Radio Listeners Club. Uh, give you a membership card with a variety of discounts. Can I interest you in that? Yes. Yes? Yes, please. All right, hold on. We're going to get your name and address in a moment. Hold on, please. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. All right, uh, I believe she's back from the bathroom. Joe Lynn, you're on the Tom Lika show. Hello. Back from the bathroom. Yes, okay. I understand you uh, had something you wanted to say to me. Go right ahead. Yes, I wanted to... Um, Tom make... Like His Show. 